Hey, it's the old man here. Let's see if that microphone's still working. There. So we got lady friend. We got the good furniture. We got some straw. No sunshine, but um, we'll just have to roll with that, I guess. So uh, the other video I was talking about Alice Cooper. Ah, uh, yeah, there was a time when I thoroughly enjoyed his music. Street rock, we called it. Um, and it's funny, it's like a lot of bands and people, their first few albums were pretty cool, and then it got to the point where anything they did was cool. And uh, so most of the old stuff I listened to, after a few albums, I just kind of let it go, because it's like, they, they didn't care. They could sing about anything, and people thought it was great. Um, yeah, Alice Cooper, my drinking days, drug days, um, the song School's Out for Summer was a hit when I graduated, so we, uh, thoroughly enjoyed all that stuff. Um, so time goes along, uh, about the time I got hepatitis and quit drinking, um, and I'm clean now. I've had my blood tested three times, and thank God I'm okay. I knew a guy that turned up with hep C, and he hadn't shot dope in 30 years, and dumb luck, he got it. Um, so yeah, I'm kind of going through some changes, and uh, I happened to see the newspaper at the folks' place. Here's a picture of Alice Cooper with... Um, Pat Boone, at that time he was a very conservative Christian actor. He was in uh, Journey to the Center of the Earth, the original one. So here's this picture of Alice Cooper and this other guy playing golf in Palm Springs. And um, kind of broke the whole image of what I thought Mr. Hardcore was all about. It was like... It is just a show. <laughs> yeah, I just, um, yeah, it's so easy to assume that people act a certain way, they're going to be a certain kind of person, but he was all show, apparently, because, yeah, I didn't think Mr. Badass would ever be hanging around with a conservative guy playing golf in Palm Springs. Um... So yeah, if I, at that point in my life, I quit listening to rock and roll and went to more folk music. Um, I like ballads that tell stories. And to this day, I'd rather listen to a, a ballad, regardless of who's singing it. If it's got a good story and I can understand it, that's a good thing, I think. Um, yeah, I kind of went to stoned country, like uh, Neil Young and uh, Dan Hicks and his Hot Licks. Commander Cody, uh, down to seeds and the stems again, blues. Yeah, I, uh, when you take booze out of the picture, it changes everything, basically, because like I said, I didn't go hang out and boogie till you puke. <laughs> uh, that was a common line, too. Inexperienced kids. Um, yeah, you just got to be careful. Yeah. Um, so, lady, come here. Come on. Want me to turn on some Alice Cooper for you? Would you? No more Mr. Nice Guy? Yeah. Yeah, what a disillusion. I thought Alice was the, the king of badass, and then to see him playing golf and didn't have any makeup on. You could hardly even tell who he was. So with that, uh, have a good New Year's. Once again, don't get too carried away. Take care. Check out that Commander Cody and his Lost Planet Airmen. The album covers were cool enough, let alone the music was great. See you later.